All right, so let's say you don't want to shop at the grocery store, you don't really know where to start, you want to buy something that's on Amazon because it's easy and quick. These are the best cat food brands on Amazon in 2022, and we'll start with Raw. The best raw frozen cat food on Amazon is Raw Paws Pet Food. So they have these convenient eight ounce patties that are individually you know, packaged up. So that's really easy to portion and serve rather than a big blob of <laughs> one pound of a chub. So that's easy to portion and serve. You could just break off one of those patties, put it in the refrigerator to thaw, and then cut it up into four pieces or however many you need. And this one is also single protein, which is great. So it's just beef. If your cat is super picky or sensitive about certain proteins, then this is great because it's literally just beef. The product name is Beef Recipe. That means that it's between 25 and 94.9% .9 beef. But you'll see it's actually 100% beef when we look at the ingredients. We have beef round, beef meat, beef bone, beef heart, beef tongue, beef liver, beef kidney, beef spleen, and beef suet. So we have lots of muscle meats in there. We have the beef round, beef meat, beef heart, and beef tongue. Heart and tongue are muscular organs that fit into that 80% category. Then we also have three secreting organs, which is great, liver, kidney, and spleen. Typically you'll only see liver, sometimes kidney, but this one also includes spleen. So that variety is really great right there. And they also include bone. Now a con here that I would say is that the fat percent is equal to the protein percent. And ideally you would have half the amount of fat compared to protein. That's more what matches a natural diet of cats, a mouse, you know, small birds. But I think that this is still a great product if your cat's already eating beef, you wanna make a transition, smooth transition to raw, this would be great. You could use it as a topper to entice your cat, get your cat used to eating better quality ingredients. And then once your cat's adjusted to it, you can introduce more protein variety to the diet. The best freeze-dried raw cat food on Amazon is Feline Natural. My mom used this for her four cats. The one that we'll look at is Beef and Hokey Feast. That word feast means the composition of beef and hokey combined is between 25 and 94. 0.9%. And freeze-dried raw is really easy to portion and serve, kind of resembles kibble, so maybe if your cat's eating dry food and you want to transition to raw, this would be an easy first step. I will admit that freeze-dried raw is typically more expensive than fresh gro ground frozen raw, gro <laughs> fresh ground frozen raw, but you're kind of paying for the convenience of you don't have to freeze it, you don't have to thaw it. You could just measure out a couple pieces, add some water to rehydrate it, and there you go. It's much easier and more convenient to portion and serve. So when we take a look at the ingredients, we have beef heart, hokey, beef, beef kidney, beef liver, beef blood, New Zealand green mussel. Those are the meat ingredients. So we have a lot of variety, which is great. All of the ingredients are specifically named and they include secreting organs, liver and kidney, which is great. That variety is wonderful. And instead of just saying like fish oil or fish meal, they add New Zealand green mussel. Then they have some additional ingredients, sunflower oil to balance the fats, flaxseed flakes, probably to add a little bit of fiber, fiber and omega, dried kelp for some minerals, taurine, and then some synthetic supplements, but the, the list is much shorter than most that you'll find. And I also like that they don't add like veggies or fruits like other freeze-dried raw brands because they'll add meat and then they'll also add the veggies and fruits and then they'll still add synthetic supplements. So it's kind of like, what's the point? If you're adding whole foods, why do you still need to add the synthetic supplements? So you kind of have to balance out like, which do you prefer? Do you want the whole foods? with synthetic supplements or would you rather meat only plus some synthetic supplements? I mean, if you're getting the synthetic supplements anyway, I guess I would go for the one that's meat only in feline natural. Give me a polydactyl thumbs up if this is helpful so far. Some more cat parents that wanna feed their cat better can find this video. Thank you. The best wet cat food on Amazon, I'm also going to talk about feline natural just because they use a lot of meat variety and their wet foods are all less than 1% carbs on a dry matter basis, which is phenomenal. So this one that we'll look at is called Lamb and King Salmon Feast. Same product name there, the composition of Lamb and King Salmon is 25 to 94.9%. And the ingredients we have lamb heart, water for processing salmon, lamb kidney, lamb liver, lamb blood, New Zealand green mussels. So those are the meat ingredients. Majority of it is lamb. There's just one named salmon, but it is third in the ingredients list. 
To be fair, lamb kidney and lamb liver wouldn't need a lot of it. The secreting organ category is usually around 10%, so it makes sense that they're listed after salmon. And they also include lamb blood, which is great because taurine is water soluble. It's gonna leak out into that moisture and that myoglobin, aka blood. So it's good that they include that. And then they have some synthetic supplements like calcium carbonate. They don't add bones, so they need that calcium. But again, this is a much shorter list compared to other wet cat food brands on Amazon. The best dry cat food on Amazon is New Zealand natural air dried food. And let me be clear, I would only use this dry food as a transition food. Let's say my cat was severely addicted to kibble. I already tried freeze dried raw. I already tried wet food. I would only use this air dried food as a transition food, not long term food. Yes, the ingredients are better, but at the end of the day, cats need a high moisture food. They need to rely on food for their moisture. So this is not a long-term feeding food. This is just a transition food. And this product name is Chicken and King Salmon Recipe. That word recipe fits under the same rules as the other products that we looked at. And when the ingredients, we have chicken with ground bone, chicken heart, lamb green tripe, king salmon with ground bone, chicken liver, New Zealand green mussel, hokey oil, and that's it for the meat ingredients. A lot of variety, including bone, so that's great. Bone from chicken, bone from fish. Heart and tripe are great. I mean, this is technically air dried, so I'm not sure how much of the probiotics and enzymes from the tripe make it into the food, but it's still good to have that extra muscle meat from lamb. Then there are others. We have kelp, rosemary, honey, coconut oil, and some of the synthetic nutrients. Again, I understand this isn't ideal, but if you need a better quality dry to get your cat used to eating better quality ingredients, which will make the transition to wet or raw easier, mm -hmm. this is the best that you're going to find. Plus it's lightly cooked air dried instead of cooked, heated, and pressurized multiple times like extruded kibble. Now if we use the guaranteed analysis to come up with a carb amount, it says 19%. Could be coming from the kelp, maybe the honey, but these ingredients are very small, so I would think that the protein and the fat are actually higher than the guaranteed analysis says. It's important to understand that the guaranteed analysis for protein and fat are on a minimum. So what they're saying is, we're not guaranteeing that the protein amount is this. We're guaranteeing that the minimum protein amount is this. It could be higher. And again, I completely understand and agree that there's no dry food that's suitable for cats long-term, but as a transition food, this would be really great because it looks like kibble, resembles kibble, and cats often get addicted to that kibble shape and the texture. So this can be helpful to get your cat used to eating better quality ingredients, and that'll make the transition to wet or raw much easier. Check out my transition plan right over Mia. It goes much more into detail, and look at the comments for inspiration. Trust me, I promise you, this plan works. Thank you for watching.